What's up, Gemini? It's your girl, Isabella Tara Tarot, back at it again. I'm going to hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations. You guys are the shit, and I appreciate you so much. Um, I am closing my personals by the end of this week. If you're needing to book with me, definitely look in the description box below for all that information. Okay, so we can go ahead and get in here. Something's going on with your sleep pattern. There's something going on. Some of you may be doing a sleep study, sleep pattern. I'm getting something about your sleep. Um, a lot of you are getting woke up in the middle of the night. Okay, I'm just getting hardcore. Like, this This is y'all's energy. We've got the owl and nature spirits, okay? I really feel like there is something... Your ancestors are coming to you in the middle of the night. I say the middle of the night. It's like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Um... Really trying to give you some insight on something, okay? Some of the unknown, some of the unseen, all right? I feel like for some of you who have been focusing on manifestations, like I'm seeing a beetle here, like I'm seeing it like a beetle, all right? Um, like, and it's like, that's trust in the magic. There's something that you have done, something that you put into work, okay? I feel like you might have had a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of stress-related issues, um... Because you were sitting here so focused on how something was going to manifest, okay? Spirit was saying that you didn't didn't need to focus on the how in some situation, but it's coming true now. I feel like you stopped focusing on it. I feel like for some of you, you might have even given up on a certain endeavor, all right? It's coming through and it's coming to you now. You may be, like, I'm getting birds, like, messengers. Like, I feel like you're getting lots of messages come in for you. Those are your ancestors really reaching out to you, letting you know it's time. Okay? Um, everything that you had hoped for, dreamed for, wished for is coming through and it's coming through now. And I feel like it's coming through fast. There's something about it that's coming through very fast. Okay, and I am getting this sense of you being caught off guard. Like, you had literally forgotten about something. It's going to catch you off guard in this time. I feel like it's a good thing, though. I don't feel like it's a bad thing. Um, I feel like there was a lot of illusion around a certain situation, and I feel like the the fog is being lifted. Okay? I, look, I'm getting noise, like noise made. I feel like there's a lot of noise um, around, or there was a lot of noise or chatter around a certain situation to where I feel like, you just kind of gave up on it. It's circling back around for you in this time. Okay? Behold sight, O ancient ones, for there is magic in the darkest of places if one dares to open their eyes. Like, I, I really feel like you had stopped focusing on a certain situation. But it's like... <laughs> you had to otherwise you know you were gonna drive yourself crazy for some of you you did focus so hard on a situation that you literally put yourself in a mental prison okay um you finally let it go you've let it go long enough to allow it to unfold in the way that it like the way that spirit was you know trying to get you to like I feel like you wanted something so bad and you wanted it to come through exactly the way that you wanted it to you know no error I say no error no room for error no um, allowing spirit to bring it to you in a certain type of way I feel like you know because you have released some level of control okay um and just said fuck it <laughs> like I really feel like you just said fuck it to a situation and now spirit's bringing it to you in a completely different way than you were expecting. I feel like it's going to be even better than what you had hoped for. Okay. I feel like you were really in your head about uh, the certain way that something was going to, you know, come through for you in a certain situation. I want to pull animal spirit just because I had seen, I randomly had seen um, a beetle. Like for some, I don't know why I saw a beetle because that's not a beetle, but I saw a beetle when I looked at that. Okay. And, like, I just feel like there's something significant with that. I want to pull from the animal deck, see what comes out for the Gemini. I heard teas and tinctures. For those of you who are focusing on that, that is, you know, um, there is something about that that I feel like for some of you, you're, you're actually doing some kind of steeping some kind of teas um, that are allowing you to ground. I don't know. It's some, there's something about a tea that you're drinking that is helping you ground more. Um, I feel like you're grounding more with drinking and sipping these teas and tinctures. Getting more connected with source. 
sitting back and taking your time to really listen to what is being given to you. But I feel like for some of you, this like I feel like there's something about visions coming through. Y'all may be putting different herbs in your teas or different tea herbs. Like I say tea herbs, you know, teas are herbs. But I feel like specific there's some specific one that you are drinking that is allowing you to... I heard lucid dream. Um, I feel like you're getting visions in this time of the future. Or like you're having a lot of deja vu. I feel like there is something specific in the dream that keeps coming to you that you really need to focus on in this time. Okay? And then what came out, Dragonfly Spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Mm-hmm. So, something that was keeping you stuck or foggy, mentally, like in a mental fog or mental prison, like you're breaking free of that. Um, there is some kind of light being shed on a situation. I feel like there was another individual involved. That you weren't quite aware of was involved. Like, I feel like for some of you, this dream, I feel like for some, this is not for everybody, but for some of you, this dream that you were having, that there's some kind of recurring dream where somebody keeps popping up in it and you're wondering why this person is in your dream. Okay. Um, there's something significant to that and you really need to look, dive a little bit deeper. Okay. Cause I feel like some kind of fog is going to be lifted. I feel like you're starting to see someone's true colors in this time as well. Like I'm seeing you waking up in the middle of the night with them like a freaking aha moment. Okay. Um, I'm definitely feeling, I feel like you were tra like that you were trapped in some kind of thought process. You're out of it. You're out of some kind of, like, very closed-minded way of thinking. Like, I, I feel like there's something about, this could be you or somebody around you, don't come for me. But there was something about some very closed-minded way of thinking. Like, I feel like you are breaking out of that in this time um, and transforming into who you were truly meant to be. You're transforming into you who you were truly meant to be. I feel like you've gotten tired of blending in. Okay, uh, there's something about blending in with the surroundings. For some of you, um, you're having realization from like past situations and from youth to childhood. Like I feel like things are just starting to click with you now. Um, but I'm definitely feeling that you're going more with the flow in regards to a certain situation. Like you're you're feeling yourself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I feel like you are taking back your power from someone who has made you feel a certain type of way. I feel like it's something that was also suppressed. I feel like there's some kind of reoccurring dream that keeps coming back to you with somebody in it. And Spirit's really wanting to you to pick apart that dream. Okay? Um, I feel like it's something suppressed. I'm getting some kind of suppressed energy. You're releasing that in this time. And in that, it's allowing you to reach new heights um, in your surround, in your waking life. You're reaching new platforms. Like, I feel like you're just going beyond the norm. I feel like you're taking things to a whole nother level because you're stepping out of, like, some kind of mental prison that you have put yourself in. Okay, like trying to blend in with, I feel like since I heard society, blending in with society or blending in with a certain individual who made you feel like you were awkward. Like I feel like the, somebody who made you feel like you were awkward or you were less than and like to, like you needed to follow their footsteps. You need to follow their lead. They want to play follow the leader and you, they wanted you to be a puppet basically. I feel like you, you're realizing that in this time and you're coming out of that fog. I'm really seeing that for you. Okay. We're going to do a rebel truth. Say a rebel truth. What does Gemini need to know to be aware of in this time? Ooh, hold on a second. I'll pull it. And I'm going to go let them in this gate because I locked the gate. <laughs> hold on. Yeah, I'm going to give this to y'all real quick, and I'm going to be out. Woo! I was almost out. Sorry, y'all. Oh! 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 
exposed. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> for some of you, somebody is going to be exposing themselves in this time. I feel like for some of you, um, you're going to be having a conversation with this person. Um, and they're going to expose something, you know, about... I feel like they're exposing something that's going to shed light on a whole different situation that you were completely unaware of. Alright? So, when I say you're being exposed, you're being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. And then we've also got stop fucking whining. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change your world, so do it. Okay. So, I feel like being shady... I feel like you're just, you know, basically... Not necessarily being shady towards yourself, but, like, not fully accepting who you truly were, so therefore you were being fake. <laughs> Take it for what it is. Don't come for me. Okay, so I feel like you were basically being fake for yourself, but I feel like you're coming out of that and you're learning to express your true, authentic self and not give a fuck about what other people are saying in this time. <laughs> um, and I feel like something that you were exposing, like... Something that's coming out about you in this time is very alluring, very attractive to other people. Um, I feel like there may have been, you know, I feel like you might have sit there and possibly pick about certain certain things about your body or certain things about your face or some kind of physical appearance um, that you need to stop doing. If there is something wrong with it, do something about it. Don't sit there and keep picking yourself apart because it's not helping you. Um, it's only hindering you and fucking up your mental Okay, so Spirit's basically saying take accountability for what was, what is, and what you're going to do. Okay, anyways, that's you guys' message. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.